today is sort of a microcosm or maybe some reason of how frustrating the season has been? Yeah, you know, I mean, we got down and moved the football, settled for a couple field goals, um, you know, and then we had a close game and you know, they made a play. And then, you know, their offense generated a couple of points and separated themselves a little bit. And then we tried to hurry up and play catch up and we just, you know, couldn't convert a third down here and there. And, uh, you know, they, they did the things that were necessary to win the game today. We talked about how those, those two sacks before the interception that kind of set the tone to where all of a sudden you guys have momentum now and the band is gone. Yeah, you know, we had the ball down, you know, getting close to the red zone. And, uh, you know, there's two sacks in a row. You know, that really took us out of field position. And, and you know, we had to pump the football, couldn't get a field goal there, and, um, you know, that kind of started the snowball effect. Can you that a little bit? You don't often show a lot of emotion that we can see. It. Yeah. You spike the ball to the second side. Yeah, you pretty. know, because, you know, against a team like that, you know, we fought so hard to be in that tight ball game and to be able to move the football and get down there. And we had some plays that, you know, we liked, but we just couldn't get to them. And then, you know, to suffer a you know, sack in that situation, you know, that really hurts you. It really takes you out of, you know, points. And uh, you hate to have that situation. So, you know, it's frustrating because we were right there, you know, to make it, I think, at that time, maybe a, a one-point game or something like that. I'm not sure. So it is frustrating. On emo speaking of emotion, has it crossed your mind? Nobody knows the future, but this could be your last game here, Matt? It definitely crossed my mind. You know, I don't didn't want to think too far ahead, but, you know, I. You know, I played this game long enough. I know how things work, and so uh, you know, it definitely crossed my mind. So it was, it, it was exciting all week to be back in the huddle, be out there with my guys that I've been here with for so many years, and uh, go to battle with it. You know, here today, but uh, you know, it fell short. Eric, um, Matt, um, playing Peyton Manning um, and Pitt, does it? Yeah, I mean, you know Peyton Manning's offense is going to score a lot of points. Right. They do it every week. Mm -hmm. does, how much more pressure does it put on an offensive unit than yeah. when you're playing them than if you're, um, if you're playing a different offensive right. unit? Yeah, it definitely puts pressure on you. You know, you got to think every possession, you got to get some type of points, especially sevens. And you know, we're fortunate to be in a 10-6 ball game, and 13-6, 16-6, and then you know, get to 16-13. I mean, we were fortunate. Our defense was playing their tails off to keep us in that game while we were uh, working our way through some things. So we were right there into the third quarter. We were in a tight ball game, and um, you know, eventually they ended up making plays and making big plays on us. And uh, you know, so that definitely puts added pressure on you to try to make some plays. First yeah. I mean, you, you actually got going really well. Like all yeah. Of them started to click, and then was it forced a little, or what, what happened? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say I probably forced that one uh, on the sideline. To DeAndre just uh, scramble drill, have him work back down the sideline, trying to give him a chance. Uh, you know, we had made a first down. You know, got us ourselves some room uh, in a backed up situation, and then just scramble down, try to make a play. Uh, probably better off just throwing it away in that situation. But in this type of game, you know, we got to just go out and try and make plays. Uh, you're, I mean. You're a pro and there's still one game left, but are you at a point where you just want to get this season and this chapter over with? Well, we, you know, we still got work to do. We want to finish this thing off right. You know, as a group, you know, we, we got to find a way to get this negative taste out of our mouth that we've you know, been a part of the past few months. So we got to find a way to work through that as a team. And then, you know, we'll deal with what comes our way down the line as it comes. But, uh, you know, I think for everyone in that locker room, it's definitely been very frustrating, very disappointing, obviously. Having the three young running backs, Obviously, Garrett Graham, Owen Damage, all of them gone. How much does that limit what you can do with different personnel groupers and how much pressure does oh, yeah. you have? Yeah, I mean, today we were limited. We were down to one tight end. So, I mean, that definitely, you look at our history, you know, we were very big into two tight ends and even three tight ends in certain situations. And um, so it definitely limits you. So then we play with more wide receivers and their backs, you know, get put in some situations pass protection wise that are very difficult on them, especially as a young running back. So you try to help them as much as you can to. Uh, minimize the thought process as far as some of the exotic looks that a team like that does on third down. So uh, definitely puts you in a position where it limits you in personnel groupings and, and what you can do, you know, with some of your calls. Well, Matt, there were more down the field passes yeah. today than there have been in recent weeks. Was that more out of necessity because of the running back situation or more out of, hey, let's just put it wide open and see what happens? Yeah, it was, I think it was a combination of both. But, you know, we wanted to stretch the field. We wanted to take some chances with our receivers against their DBs. You know, they played a lot more safe coverages, you know, uh, with two high safeties than they have shown in the past. You know, I think it's a, about what we do, and they decided to play a little safer. But, you know, we still wanted to try to take some shots, um, you know, at this point. 
you know, why not try to go out, especially with the offense that they have, and try to generate some big plays. Matt, last year you guys had Arian and Owen Daniels and I mean, Pro Bowlers left and right. Is, is it at this point now with, I think, 13 straight losses, does it feel like it's even close to the same team it was at this point last year? You know, I mean, you look at where we were at this point, the past, you know, last year and this year, I mean, I think some of the faces are still the same, but the guys out there doing it, we've had some injuries, we've had some things that have uh, taken place, and, uh, you know, so it's a little different. Now, this wasn't Andre Johnson's A game. I mean, it seemed like his head wasn't completely in it. Obviously, he threw the, the pass with, like, one folks in the end zone that he just wasn't ready for. Did he seem like he wasn't 100% or maybe he No, Andre was fine today. You know, he was he was out there busting his tail just like always trying to make plays. You know, that one, you know, he got his head around, and I had to get rid of it a little earlier than I probably would have liked. And, uh, you know, it was right in the sun. So, you know, that's a tough play for anyone. But, uh, you know, Dre was there. He was into everything, talking on the sideline, trying to do adjustments. Trying to work on things on the field just to try to generate plays. You talked about the team needing it to finish it off right and get that taste out of the mouth. That was for you personally, yeah. Not quite the last few weeks, but to get back out there with it. Yeah, I know it was great to be out there. You know, I told the guys earlier in the week, you know, it's great to just be back in the huddle with them. You know, so many faces in there that we've been battling through this thing for, you know, five, six, seven years now. And so, um, you know, it's just great to be back out there and try to end this season off these last two weeks on a very positive note. And obviously we fell short today, but it was just great to be back out on the field with my team. You're a veteran. You played this long career. PDX gone. Ideally, where do you want to be? What type of situation next year? You know, I have no idea. Start? I'm just looking to finish 2013 off the right way and, you know, deal with next year, you know, once the season's over. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you.